Welcome back, welcome back. We are right here with the best part of the game. We're going to do it again. We'll pick up right where we left off. Petting Torgal. I feel good, boy. Ten out of ten, best game. This is all we need. Good boy. <laughs> you can have done it so often we got the trophy for doing it. Okay. Also, kudos for giving a trophy cause you can pet the dog. And yes, hello DC. Welcome, welcome. Yes, the 16th version of me. Hopefully at this point all of the bugs are ironed out, but unfortunately every time we quash a bug in a version of Painting Pirate, five more show up. So it's just barely held together by quick fixes and just a ton of legacy code that really needs to be removed, but nobody has the time, unfortunately. And yeah, I'm really enjoying it so far as well, Renee. So I'm having a blast with it. I'm just glad we're now in a lush forest. Like this is this is the type of environment I was very much ready for after lots of dark caves. And you know, things being on fire. I mean sure it's killed with it's filled with like flies that apparently eat us, but you know. That's just nature for you. <sighs> so pretty. Maybe oh shit. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Sick him, buddy. Good boy. Good Torgal. Get him, boy. It's over. Level up. We still have a way to go. Uh, it's I we, we have Torgal fighting with us and I'm so happy about it. Even the moss on the rocks looks great, right? Like it is gorgeous. It is stunningly beautiful. Love it. Love it. Yep, leave them be. They're not messing with you. Oh, okay. What were they running from? Oh, holy shit. Hello. Oh, you're big. Yep. Let's not mess with that. We're gonna just sort of let that go. What in good Grieger's name is he doing this far south? He? You know who that Looking is? Food. No more walls where he's from. The North was one of the first parts of Storm to fall to the Blight. Okay, so no, just a general. Oh, sod. I'd invite him over for a cup of tea if I didn't think he'd eat the dog. <laughs> okay, I like this Sid. I like this Sid a lot. Let's try and stay out of its path. Yeah, good plan. Very good plan. We gotta keep an eye out for coffers too, as well. Oh, oh, hello. Remember when I said there'd be deadly beasts? Well, the shrubs in these parts are much better. And you only think to mention this now. Spin kick. I'll take it from here. Just a little bit of gardening. You know, it's fine. Alright. I see treasure. After you. Thank you kindly. There goes Torgal. Yeah. 
The ruins. They're everywhere, aren't they? Ah, oh, it's so pretty. I love it. Some say there was a time they blocked out the stars. Down was the only way left for them to go. There's probably a lesson to be learned from that. Soken did go into full god mode for this game, and Ace, you're correct. The music has been amazing thus far. I'm sure it's only going to get better. Mind your head. I just want to admire that for a minute. Look at that forest! And the sky, too. Burbs, it's... Uh... I want to go hiking out here. This is amazing. It's so pretty. Absolutely beautiful landscape. I love the, the snow-covered mountains in the distance, too. God, I hope we're going to wind up moving towards those ruins, too. <laughs> the music just very suddenly stopped. That makes me concerned. It's like, nope, you're back in combat times. Oh, hello. Oh, you're not friend shaped, are you? No, you're not. I can see that. It doesn't have to be a friend of yours, does it? Precision dodge got got him. Don't let them get away. There, boy. You lose. Boom. Music did say look out. The, uh, the the some of this battle music is really giving me like Final Fantasy XI vibes with the the rising strings. Like it really is is flashing me back to some of those like earlier. Like open world FF11 battle musics. Makes me very happy. Must be a nest nearby. Keep your eyes open. Of course, there's a nest of them. Quick check around for treasure. Grab potions. Well, it appears we won't be going this way. Whee, down we go. Got some steel silk. Excellent. I'll admit I haven't counted on that. Oh, we got a cave in. Torgal! What you find, buddy? What you got, lad? What, what you find? Like? What you find? Why trust in your own animal instinct when you now have an actual animal at your side? If you're lost, hold down L3 and let Torgal point you in the right direction. First, pet toggle. <laughs> Look at that happy smile. Toggle says, "Come this way," because Toggle is the best doggo. Would. Thank you, Toggle. See, I don't need to worry about getting lost if I have Toggle. Oh, that looks like a lot of blood. Enemies approach. I like wolves. I think they 
That trophy I just earned was, but I'll take it. We did what had to be done. Whew. Doesn't mean I have to like it. No. No, it doesn't. I'll three to command Toggle to show you the way. Toggle says this way. Thank you, buddy. We, of course, have to thank Toggle with all of the pets. <laughs> More treasure. Ah, uh, are we down at the base of those ruins from earlier? I think we might be. Cutscene says slightly ominous. Because I notice this is a big round area. I smell boss fight. Uh oh. Yep. Hi. Hey. We're just passing through. It's fine. That's all sharp. You better hope so. Welp. Okay. This shouldn't take too long. So much for your shortcut. Still short, just not quite as quick. But it'll be a downside quicker if you help me. I thought she was acting. Okay, big tail swipe. Nope. A little help! I'm sorry, this thing is called Fafnir? There, boy. Oh boy. Yeah, I'm even more scared. He's not just down. I say as I get whacked with the tail. Okay, got the stagger. Let's go. You know what to do, boy. Oh boy, spin cycle. Don't love that. Okay, ow. Oh boy, what the hell? What in the Sonic the Hedgehog is this shit? mistake. Should not have used my AoE then. I can't do my watch for the spin cycle, right? Boom! Ability finish. Let's do it. Fafnir of the North Slain. Oh, come on. Do I not get the victory fanfares on that one? 
Come on, I killed Fafnir. Give me the ba 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 ba. I feel cheated. Oh, he ain't dead. Oh. Come on. Stand back. Oh, he's gonna go Ramu. Nice. I feel like he could have led with that, Sid. Just, just gonna throw that out there. Okay, so it, it. Okay, never mind. I take it back. Take it back. You're dominant. The Roy Mustang finger snap, right? I am. I. Well, not by choice, mind. Old bloody Rome of strapping young lads. And it was this sorry sack of bones, Rome, who saw fit to harm. Sid's got the consumption. Sid, I don't think you should start like lighting up immediately after coughing up your own blood. It's like that doesn't seem like the best. You say plan. you want to help Dominance and Bearers. The anime cough, That's exactly. For you. What's in it for me? The same as for all of us. What we want and deserve. Save for our knack. Dominance and bearers are no different from anyone else. The ability to use magic or summon great beasts should command respect, but instead has left us outcasts. Our kind are used and discarded like tools, yet we are men, so why must we die as less? I see. So what you're saying is you want to start a war. <laughs> ah, you flatter me, lad. But my days as a firebrand are long behind me. No. I only wish to offer our kind a choice. A place where we can die on our own terms. Huh? Again, the, the coughing up of the blood, the fact that his whole voice and demeanor has big Sean Bean vibes. Oh, Sid is ugly fucked. Like, he is absolutely our mentor figure who is going to die tragically. And I'm not ready for it. I'm never going to be ready for it. All right, let's check the... Because I got some ability points. So do I have a 226? I don't think I can upgrade anything. But I can unlock... Hold square to imbue with fire. Ooh, what's this? Charge magic. Hold... Okay, I like the... That we can do. We'll do that. And then we can do... Use X while in the air to kick off a nib. Okay, that's kind of fun. We also have, oh, a lunge attack, though. I like the lunge attack. We're going to go with that. All right. Uh, hey, Torkelbud, where are we going? Thank you. Can I not? Okay, fine. Can I not pet talk? There we go. Gotta find the angle to pet. Like hey, you got your C. Nice cipher. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. I certainly am. And we're back in the cave. Is that gonna be a potion? What exactly do you plan on doing when you find this dog at the fire? What do you think? I'll show him the mercy he showed my brother. He's you. The tongue of any man who tries to talk me out of it. All right. <laughs> I love you, Sid. Uh, uh, okay, hold on. We're going to do a quick check. So, which way does... Okay, so Torgal says... See, I love this, though. Because Torgal now tells me I need to go that way, which means I know I should check this way first. Well, there was this, oh, that's the way I just came. Never mind. I turned myself back around. But yeah, I always wonder about that in games. Where it's like There's two ways to go. It's like, okay, which advances and which is the one I need to check for treasure? I like that I'll know which is which. Hey, banana monster. How's the CE roast chicken statue? I love it. It looks a lot better in person than it does in camera, uh, like in photos or even on video. Like the, the transparency on the Phoenix is really nice. I am very pleased with it. Very pleased with it. 
I also love the icon pins and the that the banners. Like honestly, everything that came with it, I thought was fantastic. And I really miss the days when all RPGs came with the cloth maps. I love me a good cloth map. Oh, hornet! Oh, no shit! Wrong button. There we go. Holy shit! Damn, Torgal! You took all of them out. Best doggo. Oh, more vampire forms. Okay, I like the I like that lunge. I like that lunge a lot. You got fabric patches that came with mine for all the nation banners. I did too. The little the, the, um, did yours also have the little loops on the top, or yours like fabric patch like jacket patches. See that river? We follow her upstream, and we'll be in Lost Wing in no time. In no time. Right. Oh, this is a lot of enemies. Keep your distance, boy. Go. Jacket patches, nice. Level yeah. up, I'll take that. And more sharp things. What's to uh, Torgo? What you what you growling at, lad? Um, what I love about the banners that came with the collector's edition is with the little loops on top, they are actually the perfect size and easily mountable to use them for uh, dioramas for minis. So I I have things to potentially plan out that I can do with that. There's a lot of uses I can get out of that. So we're continuing to go this way. I think that's the way back. Yeah, we came that way. That loops around. Oh, wait. Map. Uh, no. Check the map. Do I get a map of the... Okay, no. Never mind. I was hoping for like a map of the... Like a more direct map of the area, but I guess not. That's fine. More stuff. Okay. And it's dragon time. Ow. ow. that get the more you've got for To you, ha ha. Keep your distance, boy. Goes. Oh, you can get pre order codes. That sucks. I'm sorry. That reminds me, I did, but I didn't see anything. Actually, I should check that. Because some of the pre order codes were equipable items. Did I get any items that I can equip? 
I was only worried about uh, upgrading. I didn't think about checking that. No, maybe I have to find them somewhere. Or, or you unlock them at a certain part of the game. I'll have to check. Meteorite. Because I, I got like catchy braces. Hey, Mer, how deep in are you? I am not too deep in. So I started today where the demo left off. So I'm a couple hours in from there. So very much still super early into the game. Like, actually, can I see my playtime? Check system. Actually, let's do a quick save. It might tell me. Action photos. No, that's just the current time. Yeah, it doesn't tell me how long I've been playing the game. But maybe I can find it somewhere. But yeah, still pretty early on. We're in the first, like, big dungeon. After you, you go to what seems to be the main game hub area. Also, most important thing we can do in the game. Nothing else matters. We can pet the dog at any point. Oh, this what? feels significant. Oop, it's Peoples. The Royal Scout. Someone's far from home. Let's follow him. Very good doggo. Doggo is full party member. I love. Okay, what's going on here? Oh, it's Benedicta. And? They're just down that way. All of them. Grieger's my witness. Excellent. We move. I, 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 I don't understand. Have I not proven loyal? Ugh. It is true my liege values loyalty above all else. <laughs> but were you not quick to betray your countrymen for the promise of coin? <laughs> Well, <sighs> shit. That was and yeah, the demo was a lot. Benedicta Harmon, commander of Walud's elite intelligences. If we can capture her. You! Weapons Hello. on the ground, Imperials! Eh, uh, we got four. Okay. Yeah, if anything happens to Torgal, I swear I will manifest to freak my damn self and set everything to the f on fucking fire. Like, no. Let's get this over with then. Cinematic clash. 
When the screen flashes orange like this during a pivotal moment in battle, repeatedly tap square to either press or fend off the attack. Where'd they go? I love that the kind of tandem offense you can plan with Portal. Okay, Raiton and Katon, you're a ninja. This dude's a straight up ninja. Where'd he go? Yep, assassinate. That's bad. Ow, Jesus. Okay, nope. Fire one. Don't like this dude. There we go. the assassinate. I did not. Ouch, my bits. That's bad. Not this time. Come on. Come on, Clive. There we go, yes, give me the, the victory fanfare. We get it for killing this dude, but not the giant dragon turtle thing. The Badge of Might. Awarded to soldiers for unparalleled displays of courage on the field of battle. The feeling of accomplishment it enkindles in the recipient's heart is thought to enhance future performance. And a bunch of steel silk and more meteorites. That one was rough. That was, uh, that was a rougher one. I struggle a lot more about zippy enemies. Well, you do look the part. <laughs> Though you fight like a true shield of Rosaria, and one blessed by the Phoenix at that. <laughs> Speaking of which, I wonder. Does the other icon of fire give blessings, do you think? You don't believe me. And lo, the creator did make of the elements eight icons to serve as keepers of the one law. Sid looting the bodies. Sid's got the right priorities. Not that I've ever set too much store by holy doctrine, but on that point, it's clear. Fire has always had just the one warden, as of all the rest. 
A new one can't be born until the previous dies. And even that can take years. Clean your sword, Sid. It's bothering me. The thing is, you don't strike me as a liar. Which leaves but one person who might be able to shed some light on the matter. There in Lost Swing. The sword's gonna rust if you don't clean it. As are our Waluda friends, I would imagine. We should hurry before it gets dark. But what if someone discovers the bodies? Well, and they'll be sorely disappointed. Death. <sighs> Big fan of this, Sid. Big fan. Stage replay and arcade mode. Stage replay and arcade mode are now available in the Hideways Air to Stones. Enter the virtual battlescapes for details on each of the new options. That's kind of fun. Okay, so you can replay each of these if you want to, I guess. Maybe when you level up, you can go back with like new abilities and beat the crap out of an enemy that gave you a hard time earlier. That'd be fun. Orabel Downs. The idyllic plains that stretch across the southern reaches of the Holy Empire are sparsely populated. Unless one knows where to look. Can we go back to... Okay, we can just travel back to the hideaway if we want. That's cool. Actually, let's do that, because I might be able to upgrade some gear. So we can just go back to the hideaway at any point. The new items are now available at Caron's Toll. A new crafting recipe is available at the Black Hammer. Any side quests? No side quests. But new crafting recipe. I'm intrigued. Make it quick. What do you want? You can make a longsword plus one. If you can swear you have seen this blade somewhere before, it's probably because you have. Longswords are some of the most common weapons in the realm, so it is no surprise the hot-tempered gate guard barking at you to be gone also has one strapped to his back. Those can all be upgraded. Then we got a wolf skin sash. I wonder if going back through and doing it in that arcade mode lets you do a uh, farm for items to upgrade your equipment. Then we can make traveler's bands. And we've already got iron braces on. Alright, let's make the long sword. Because that looks like an upgrade. It'll last you a good while. Let's equip it. And can I reinforce it yet? I can. I already have enough meteorite. Nice work, but it'll do. There we go. So I have now the long sword plus two. Sweet. Um, can I? I can't reinforce anything else. Ooh, wait, no, I can make iron braces plus one. Oh, plus two. So we'll take that. You can thank me later. There uh, we go. Sweet. Fine. That's that sorted, and you have new items for me? Look what the curl dragged in. Go on, then. Longsword, bronzesword. Oh, you, oh, I can just buy the wolfskin sash, too. Okay. And more consumables. That's fine. Finished, are you? I do want to quickly take a visit to... I don't care about that right now. I, I do want to go and visit Tomes, though. I want to see if... I can drop off more, more stories. Like this old soul be of service? I have compiled some new entries. If you would like to see them. Ah, uh, only if a you little have bit. A question for me? I should be happy to answer it. I see. So we went first encounter, and then we have him listed as the dominant of Ramu. Do we have any updates for Benedicta? If any of that is new. Let me actually let me clear out these so that I know when I get new ones. <laughs> the dominant of fire. It's you, Clive. It's you. There are persons of interest. We've read most of these as I was going through, so I'm not super worried. I just want to make it easier to identify. Oh, hold on. One of Sid's most trusted allies, a merchant who calls the hideaway her home. 
With a little help from her hard-working yet long-suffering apprentice, Gates, she can source whatever supplies the residents of the hideaway need, provided they're willing to pay. She wears a glass eye in her right socket. I did not realise Caron had a glass eye. Is the Royal Knight Lord Commander. King of Willowed. Blackthorn. And we've got update for Torgal. Torgal. Uh, lay of the land so we can clear out these. I love this incredibly detailed like lore encyclopedia. This makes me very happy. Knight of Flames, which we know quite a lot about because we were there for it. The Dragoon. Remember them from the demo? The Great Word will have been the Dalmechian Republic. To do. Sorry, I know this isn't the most thrilling thing. I just want to be able to more easily identify when there's new info I want to read. Alright, and there's the Crystalline Orthodox. Those are those. Alright. So that's everything from Lay of the Land done. Anyway, I'll do this later. There, there's a lot to run through. I'm not going to worry about it. Go back to the world map. Wait, hold on a second. Did I just. I didn't realize I can up. I, I have separate attributes for Torgal too. We can level up Torgal. Oh, that makes me very happy. Um, speaking of leveling up, I just realized we have enough to unlock. Either stomp or let's do burning blade. Good new dung and so many uses. Toggle does indeed need all of the all of the level ups. That is the most important thing to do. Alright, so back to the map. Alright, let's continue. That moon with the little red dot next to it, which is haunting the moon. I'm pretty sure. So much for a concerns. Sunset. Oh, I didn't realize we were this close. Any idea what that is they built the village around? The fallen ruin. I've heard some call it an airship. Airships? Flying days seem to be behind it. We've got a Sid. We've got an Same airship. Map. Let's go. I truly think a dominance waiting for us in that village. My scout has never given me any reason to doubt him. Which is why I think we should hurry. Come on. I want to know where this is going. Because we know that Joshua is the dominant of Phoenix and Clive is going to be the dominant of Ifrit. Who is in this? A tuning with an obelisk allows Clive to travel quickly to the location via both the world map and local map. Clive need only approach an obelisk to attune with it. Louder than words. Or a little downs obelisk. This isn't the first time I've seen one of these. Perhaps I can use them as way marks. Mm, and good, we can still pet Torgo. After it. And catch good boy. Good boy. Detailed map of the current area. Okay, so this is seemingly a little more of a village area. Hopefully nothing we're going to need to worry about fighting here. Off to the farm. Having said that, we're absolutely going to have to fight stuff here. I just cursed it, is what I've done. Let's do a quick check up here. Yep, see, I did. Mistakes. 
I did that to myself. But got some stuff. So, you know, worth it. Yo. Don't mind me, I'm just tearing through all of your crops. Sorry about that. Figures up ahead. But are they friends or foes? Well, they've got a red bar above the head, so I'm leaning on foes, Sid. the next ones we meet let me know how it goes that's how like the the group idm for is always like that it's like oh we have a group of enemies we should capture one to ask them information and then they always forget to capture one and just murder them all it's like well we did it again quest destination nearby lost wing the holy empire of sandbrick No sign of the royalists. Looks nice and peaceful. Or else for that matter. It's too bloody quiet. Well, I suppose Sid has a point. What do we do now? First we look for my scout. You start here, I'll circle round the back. How do I let you know if I find him? Good question. Shout. <laughs> so much for subtlety. <laughs> nice, yep. Yeah, same mind, Clive. Like, okay. <laughs> I don't even know what he looks like. I mean, Toggle. You, you could ask Toggle. The place can't be completely abandoned, can it? Nope. I see a person up there who definitely, definitely, definitely is not an enemy. Nope. Not an enemy. Oh, maybe they're actually. Oh, it's Sid. It's me. <laughs> I'm flattered, but let's stick to the plan, eh? Oh, another obelisk. Let's grab that. Oh, I guess I don't need to interact with them. That's right, so you just need to approach them. Alright. <laughs> that sounds like a child. Where is it coming from? It's so dark. I mean, it is, you know, night. Makes sense. Hello, tiny child, where are you? Let's see what's up here. Ah, that light down there feels significant, but let's have a look up here. Okay, that's locked off. Oh, hello. Ooh, uh, no one here. Treasure. Got some treasure. We didn't find people, but we found, you know, items. Let's see. Thing around here. Can't get into any of the houses. Let me go and check that area that looked like uh, either an inn or a, a place to eat. Uh, just as soon as I remember how I got up here in the first place. There we go. Yeah, the fact that it's in that very prominent light makes me suspicious. But no, it doesn't look like there's anything there. It's just kind of damp. Maybe 
I should go back to where I heard that child crying. Ah, there we go. Seem like so it seems like it's coming from over here somewhere. Can I get around into Nope, that wasn't steps, that was a roof. Nope, that's Sid again. Okay, so I've done a big circle. I've done a big circle. Check the map to make sure I'm not about to leave. Okay. Oh, then the map just was like, okay, no, no, it's this way. It's in the middle. Unless that's just in the middle of the village, which I think it might be. No, that's just inaccessible. Okay. okay. Where's this? So there's definitely a child around. I just need to figure out where the hell they are. Ooh, hello. I haven't been down here. Ah, this looks new. Is it? I think this is new. Or am I just... I may just be lost. Oh, no, here we go. I found the child. It's all right. I'm not one of them. My friend and I, we're with the Imperial Army, and we've come to help. Liar! You know where your parents are. Liar! In, in the church. Then I'm going to find them and make sure they're safe. Can you stay hidden here until then? To the church, then. Nothing bad has ever happened in the church. I'm sure they're totally fine. Cutscene. I'm sure that's not ominous or concerning at all. This man's gonna die if we don't get into a healer. Enough of your barking, dog! <laughs> About time. Stand back. Is he going to zap the lock? Yes, he is. Subtle. Mm. Who the hell are you? Clive! Thought you weren't coming. You still alive, Gav? <laughs> Barely. Been doing what I can for the villagers, but... Hello, I Prax. You were joking. It's all right. He's with me. Is this everyone? No, there were others. A pair of royalists came for the bearers just before you arrived. Was a dominant among them? Maybe. It's not like he was holding a sign. It's a good point. It's a good point. The fuck? <laughs> yep. No nope. sensible move. Clive, after him. Chase time. Toggle, go get him. You're faster than me. Chase him down, boy. Chase music. Any 
word from the scouts. Not yet, my lady, but we have the Dominant's companion. It's only a matter of time before we seize our quarry. Very good. And what of the others? The bearers have been taken to Kaer Norvent. Some may still be worth keeping should the Dominant elude us. All is in hand, my lady. They will not be spoiled. I give you my word. <laughs> Gentlemen, a toast! Will you join me? <laughs> my thanks. To Our Lady of the Wind and the King! Yes, we do have a candidate for new second best Sid, Prax. This Sid is fantastic. Ugh. The Imperials drink this piss? Well, it would go some way to explain their breath. <laughs> Lady Benedicta, Imperials! And we're there solo. Well, not solo, we have talk. And instead of killing them, you lead the rats straight to us. Mercy! <laughs> Yeah, we might be a little outnumbered here, Clive. Look what we have here, boys. An Imperial Bearer. Good. I was getting bored. Oh. Benedicta says 1v1 me, bro. Ooh. Might be a little outclassed here, Clive. Nice. What is that thing? This means what I think it does. Sid has some explaining to do. Okay. Now comes the assessment of how many of these mechanics are reminiscent of the FF14 Garuda fight. The, uh, the area effect blaster was, yep, yeah, that, that's very reminiscent. Okay, dodge too slow. There we go, that's better. Stand in the airway. I was hoping I could get them taken out, but no, I, boom, fire. Didn't get them out just in time for it to be really cool, but you know, fireball to the face. That's also pretty nifty. I'll take it. Another level up. Cleric's Medallion. At a glance, what appears to be a holy relic, able to channel the power of the divine into curative energies, actually contains the dust of a light aspect of crystal, known to be a catalyst for the restorative arts. Increases healing potency of potions by 20%. Nifty. Love that.
also made me realize I forgot to equip the You've other fighting you. accessory I found. Branded. Clive! About time, Sid. <laughs> Look who's here to save the day. <laughs> Toggle in the Is back. That's how you recruit all of your charges. Don't recall you complaining, Benedicta. Uh, mm -hmm. Sid's trained Ben. So, Sidolphus. Explain, Sid. Remind me, why was it that you betrayed your kingdom? I asked your question, Lord Commander. Why? Because I'd had enough of you and your king's antics. And yet here you are, stealing my branded. What are you plotting? As if I'd tell you. Benedicta, we have secured the dominant. Which dominant? Holy oh, something is near. Is it Joshua? Sid, you got some explaining to do, buddy. And she's gone. Say where she was going. No. Then we head back to Lost Wing. One of the villagers may have heard something. But we can't just. Which is why I sent Gav. The man has a nose for these things. Trust me. That feels very significant a statement. It is a really good answer, yeah, to be fair. Why, why did you betray your kingdom? Because I was sick of your shit. <laughs> so, it wasn't about bears at all. They were looking for a dominant. Yeah, that's right. I thought we were hiding the bastard. Why can't any of us would keep a monster like that under our roof? Oh, no offence. When no one talked, they started rounding up everyone with a brain. And then everyone without one and all. And locked you in the cellar, hoping sooner or later someone would break. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you know, things might have been different if you'd accepted my invitation. Oh, don't remind us. We were all saying the same thing. Yeah. This is our home, innit? Yeah. Don't mean we won't help when we can, though. And that, I'll drink to. Oh, come here the Here's the bard again. Spoony bard. Stock out. Worms a thousand and slain, but tenfold. One hundred full legions. The young. Did he follow us from the hideout, though? Watched as a million foes turned tail and fled. His lance levels mountains, it spanned as the deep. Need to know more about this dragoon they're singing about. Revenge won't bring him back. It won't. Thirteen years ago, I watched a dominant kill my brother right in front of me. And I did nothing. But now I can. I can kill the son of a bitch. And bring peace to my brother's soul. About that, Clive. After About that, that. Whatever happens, happens. Fate. Just always have you playing all the background music. Slave, He's like our Sir Robin's minstrels from Monty Python. Meanwhile, with big dramatic music, K 
care no event. The would have us believe the Imperial host invincible. Yet here we find the Empire's cornerstone teetering on the backs of a handful of cowards and cutthroats. <laughs> Well, Bahamut may lead a hundred full legions. Could it be that the young prince defends a house of cards ready to topple at the slightest breeze? Tell me something. Why do you not resist? Within you lies the power to slay gods. The phoenix perished in your flames. Yet you do not fight. You do not flee. You refuse your gift. What is going on here? Perhaps you are distracted. <sighs> My offer still stands. Join us, and you will be treated with the respect one of our kind deserves. Lord Margrace, don't! Lord Margrace, huh? I'll give you a moment to consider your options. Do be gentle with them. I still wonder if that's if that the hooded figure is Joshua, and the whole like I the whole dominant of fire thing is is still. Clive. Very curious as to where this is going. Gov's back. So Gav can probably lead us to that fortress that they were just in, so I suspect we're about to go and storm the castle. One of the Empire's outlying strongholds, though apparently not strong enough to keep out the Royalists. The captured bearers are inside. I'm sure of it. If Benedicta's orders are to stay in the shadows, she won't be travelling with many men. Meaning, she'll be keeping her prisoners together and close by. Including the Dominant. So, we find a way into the fortress and conjure a bit of chaos. That's my type of plan. Uh, what about me? Excellent question, Gav. You will wait outside the care and guide those I free to safety. And miss all the fun? Why can't he do that? Clive doesn't have your nose. He'd stumble off a cliff before he even found the men. Come on, Gav. You're the best man for the job. Well, when you put it that way, Suppose I better scout ahead for any surprises. I like Gav. Don't you let him down. I won't. Right. Shall we? Not so fast. We wait until tomorrow. But he, he's right there. And if we leave now, we'll arrive just as the sun comes up. Maybe join the guards in breaking their fast. Come on, Clive. They only just took the place. They'll be there a while yet. We've got one chance at this. You don't want to waste it. Do you? No. Yeah, listen to Sid, Clive. Listen to Sid. Good boy. The Dead of Night. As the story progresses, new weapons and items will become available at the Hideaways Trading Post, as will new forging recipes. Yep, we went back there for that. There's someone I want you to meet. At this hour. He's the owner of the tavern, and our best hope of getting a decent night's kit. What can I interest you in today? Do you have anything interesting? Ooh, orchestrian roll. 40,000 gil. I... Yeah, we'll come back for that later. 
We'll come back for that later. I assume that's the music for this area, though, and I do like it. I do like this, uh, this chill vibe music. Quentin, my good man. It seems we'll be spending the night. I thought as much. Where do you find that one? Oh, well, him. You won't believe me if I told you. Quinton here is an old friend, one who is sympathetic to our cause. Sympathetic? Then he knows about your little sanctuary. I would never have guessed so many people were bent on setting us free. When last I checked, the mere thought would earn you a trip to the gallows. I am well aware of the risks, as I am of the rewards. And what could be more rewarding than your very own dominant of fire? A dominant? Here? Now that I would like to see. <sighs> Meaning you haven't. No, but nothing passes unnoticed in Lost Wing. Take your brand, for example. People will see that at once. And I need hardly tell you how they will greet the inquiries of a bearer. You are afraid your words will fall on deaf ears, as they have ever since the moment you were marked. Happily, I can provide a solution to your dilemma, as a favor to Sid, that is. What do you have in mind? Take this. You will find it has the uncanny power to loosen tongues. Is it booze? A seal. The hanged man. Quint the okay, so we've got like a tarot thing? Some sort of tarot based game mechanic? This might be Imperial Land, but here in Lost Wing, it's his word that's law. But how? You don't need to worry about that just yet. Trust me. Everyone in Lost Wing knows what that seal means. And what it means if they don't take note. Now we can sit here counting our blessings, or put them to good use and find that dominance. Your choice. Let's see if this thing really works. Gather info from the villagers. Alright, let's... In the meantime, uh, let me go to my gear. Let me actually equip some of these accessories that I've been getting. The Cleric's Medallion and the Badge of Might. There we go. That's better. I still love just the casual use of crystals as, as just a utilitarian thing. It's a really little neat bit of world building. It's like, it's dark, and we use a crystal so I can see. Let's check with you. Hello, Woodcutter. Oh, Master Quinton took a lark into you, I see. And there I was, thinking you were in bed with Sid. Wonder Dang. what Gav will have to say about this. Speaking of whom, if you see him, tell him thanks for looking after us. Now, what can I help you with? I'm searching for a dominant of fire. Gav seems to think he might have taken refuge here. We see a lot bearers around these parts. But I do seem to recall one who commanded the flame. Now, whether or not that makes him a dominant, I can't say. But the Waludas certainly took a keen interest in the poor sod. Did you go look at him? Didn't have a chance. One of the other bearers might have died. Thank you. Right, 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 right. Actually, is that do I, is like a key items section? I want to see if I can see that thing. In, yeah, key items. Okay. Oh, there it is. The hanged man. Curiosities. The seal marks its bearer as a trusted ally of Quinton of Lost Wing. See, I wonder if there's going to be more of these seals, and if there's going to wind up being like a whole network of people who are connected 
and each of them is a is represented by a card of the tarot. Because that's very significant to just happen to throw it in as the hanged man. Like that that cannot be something that's not going to be a part of a larger thing. That a hanged man, I see. Master Quentin must think you're important. It was a good thing you done today. Getting rid of those bastards. If you hadn't come when you did, I'd be on my way to Ash by now. Along with the others. Poor buggers. These others. Was there a dominant among them? A dominant of fire? Might have been, yeah. Royalists seem to think there was, anyhow. A thin bloke all swallowed up in his robes like one of great Grieger's churchmen. Do you recall anything else about him? Only that he weren't alone. Was a young maid who went wherever he did. We got a little bit stabbed. And wherever the royalists dragged them both off to before you got here. I see. Thank you. I wonder if Sid's found anything. Can I check in with him? I just, I, I love this background music. Like, this is music I would listen to to fall asleep. It's so relaxing. Tell me that scowl means you've got good news. I've got a cutscene. How's about that? So, a shady lad with a hood and his equally shady lass. Not much to go on, but... But... I've been thinking, if our friend is a dominant, why not just burn the royalists to a crisp? There's a reason he's holding back, and I reckon he has something to do with his partner. What makes you say that? One of the villagers I talked to said the two were separated. If the Waludas have her, our dominants like to think twice before starting any fires. Whoever he is, he's shown himself to have a level head. He's careful, cunning, and he doesn't want to be found. This could spell trouble. For us and the Royalists both. <sighs> Still, it'll be a whole lot worse if we set off after them with bleary eyes and empty bellies. There should be a pair of pallets waiting for us back at the inn. Shall we? Time for a nap. Just double check to make sure there's no side quests or anything popped up, and there hasn't been. You're the kind man who saved mummy. Thank you. You're welcome, small child. You're welcome. I am, in fact, a hero. Now, about those beds. Beds? I seem to recall your request being to spend the night. And for that, the floor will more than suffice. Better than a wet rock, I suppose. <sighs> My thanks, Quentin. Next time you're at the hideaway, our floor's all yours. Nah. No need for thanks, Sid. This isn't an act of charity. You don't say. In exchange for my floor, I shall be requiring your services. Oh. The Royalists saw fit to erect a barricade across the road south when they occupied the village, and failed to remove it when they left. I expect it to be gone before you leave. As you wish. Uh, so we got a little bit of a quest to do before we can move on to storming the castle. The following evening. Well, that took longer than expected. First time dismantling the barricade? It gets easier, don't worry. Oh, maybe not. I won't. If we leave now, we'll arrive at the care when the shadows are... Oh, so it actually didn't make us do it, so that's good. Wait. No more waiting. I thought that was going to be a little, like, here's a side thing to throw in that you're going to have to go and do. Right, like, oh, no, we can off-screen that. Unless... I know of another shortcut. You should be so lucky. I feel like that was a very deliberate misdirection. The uh, typical, oh no, you gotta do this thing for me first. And then just off screen it. They did that on purpose. They knew what they were doing. Come 
God. The road here cuts through Lorbert's Pass to Care Northern. You're not thinking of heading that way, are you? That's exactly where I'm heading. If the Royalists were looking to take the care that have posted centuries to prevent any unwelcome surprises, at least I would have. Well, first and foremost, you should know. We have to pet toggle to start out with. Now we can get going. And grab some more supplies. Or oh, two gill. Okay, maybe not the treasure I was hoping for. There it is. Go. Treasure! Two gill. Another two gill. Very consistent two gill. I mean, I'm not going to so knock it. Is thinking. Two gill is better Why than no gill. they no chance of holding. When they've no intention of holding it, the king is up to something. The king? Well, you don't think they're acting on a whim, do you? This is one of his majesty's cunning stunts, and he sent his best to execute it. Over here, because I see treasure. Two pinches of magic to ash. That's more significant, I assume. Just as a lady said. Stay down. Take out the mage first. I do like that we can team up with Torgal to do a juggle combo. Like, Torgal can wave them up in the air and we can yeah, do a very anime style mid air oh, thing. Not to crack, even when it isn't crawling with royalists. I don't care who else is in there. Next bridge over the river there. And here we go. Oh. Ah, uh, never mind. More evil plots to kill. That's oh, still alive. There we go. Took care of that. Going to head cannon the two gillar for funerary rites. Thank you for the hydration redeem. I do like that. Just pop the two gill over the eyes. I like that head cannon, especially given how consistently I've been finding two gill. Quest to destination nearby. battering down the front door, a hazard this endeavour will require a bit more tact. Tact? There's an old sluice that empties under the bridge. It should see us through to the lower levels of the care. Sid. We both know why I'm here. But what is it that you want? Why would you risk your life for a handful of outcasts? If anyone ever learned what you've been doing with their property... They have my head in a box. 
But this isn't just about dominance and bearers, it's about all of us. What I want is to build a place where it doesn't matter what you are, but who you are. But our world isn't ready for a place like that. So, until it is, I use the power I've been given to show people there is hope. stealthy approach doesn't feel very me but I'll, I'll you know I'll go along with it game but so tell me about this Benedicta there you go that's the question we need Clive the best and worst decision I ever made uh, I've had those relationships don't underestimate her Clive a fight with her icon is not one you're likely to walk away from Garuda Warden of the Wind. Hey. Mm -hmm. Off we go. Sneaky, sneaky, sneak. And again, big focus on the moon. Big focus on the moon and the little red dot thing next to it. Alright. Quests. I think we're fine. Let's nip back to the hideaway just to check for any uh, weapon upgrades, and then we will move on and storm the care. So just make sure there's no side quests that have popped up, which they haven't. Can I see I'm busy here? What do you want? Anything there. I can now craft the wolf skin sash plus one. It's only a minor defense upgrade. So is this. Do I have enough for both? I don't have enough for... I'm going to be one short on sharp fangs. That's frustrating. Ah, damn it. I'm going to be one short. Oh, but that, that one lowers my HP. So let's do... The Traveler's Bands. Oft gifted by a knight's paramour on the day of their beloved's first foray into the wild. Traveler's Bands are little more than pretty shells, broken glass, and shards of depleted crystal affixed to a leather band. But it's the thought that counts. It last you a good while. I don't have any meteorite to reinforce, so can't do that. And let me make sure I did my math correctly. Yep, yeah, I am one sharp fang shell. And yes, Blue Day, we are a little concerned about the focus on the moon, given what Yoshi P has done with moons in the past. It's, you know, some degree of concern there. Check 144. Don't have any new abilities I can get. So... Off to Care Norvent, which I keep wanting to call Care Morn. Just because that's immediately how my brain completes that name. Ooh, that looked like the phoenix on that. That really looks like phoenix on that, uh, that pendant she's got. has fallen. The eastern territories all but belong to the orcs. I'll have my men ready to depart by noon. Don't bother. But what of the mines? Without adamantite... The blight would have engulfed the mines ere long. Besides, you already have your orders. Yes, my liege. The dark swallows more of the realm with each passing day. The land starved of the ether that gives it life. And as the fringes fade, 
the people flock to the Mother Crystals, desperate for their blessing. The war we wage for possession of that blessing, it breaks us from within, hastening us to our own destruction. So you do what must be done. I unite the dominance, that we may bring an end to the strife, and do you found though? a new order to see us unto tomorrow. It's very for the greater good the there, Barnabas. Be restored, and I will see it so. You might have already had Sidolphus not betrayed us. Him again. Lust you still for his embrace. But... Of course not. My liege. Hello. I serve you, and you alone. Remember well the day you first entered these halls. Your pale hand pressed into his, as if it would never let go. That... that was a long I time I don't ago. like Barnabas. Yours. No, like the vibes he's given. Need. Yeah, I don't like Barn. He does have kind of, it's the same like shaggy hair, like there's a little bit of Clive to him, I can see that. Which I suspect is gonna be a parallel thing. One of our sentries has failed to report, my lady. Your orders. Pull the men back inside the care, Geralf. He is here then. Have them lead Sid and his little pet to the chapel. I shall entertain them there. <sighs> And yes, he was indeed wrapped around the uh, the guy who's the dominant of Titan in the the prologue. So you've come for me after all. Space. Hey. Hi Val, welcome in, welcome in. We are about to storm Care Norvent. I don't know how far into the game you've gotten. Hello, Thousand Young. Welcome in, welcome in. You've gotten past this part. Excellent. Headwind. That's a nice trick. Ooh, I was wondering about that. Me some time. But first and foremost... Hold on. Can I not... Okay, we can't pet... Uh, can we not pet Toggle in this one? Okay, fine. 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 Uh, the plan, by the way, I think is going to be to get through this section, what seems to be the confrontation that, the, that we're building to with Benedicta, and then that's probably where I'm going to go for today. Because at some point I need to, I'm going to need to walk my doggo and uh, get some food. So that's what we'll do. And that'll, fe that'll feel like a nice amount to get through on day one of this. Act. We should start with the dungeons. They may be holding the bearers there. Sound plan. As long as we keep ourselves on this side of the bars. Uh, Kyrus did not get treats, and I'm going to ask that we don't redeem that right now, because I am also recording these for episodes on YouTube. Um, I can do them after I finish with 16, but I don't want to do anything that's going to interrupt the gameplay for these, because of the In recording here. aspect. Alright, dungeons, dungeons, dungeons. They're all empty. Yeah, I, I do like, yeah, the, the fireball light, it's very, like, dancing lights. D and D style. I love the little atmospheric touch of the, the rat squeaks. This gate. Need some help. What do you think? I think yes. I'm doing most of the lifting. Yeah. Now hold it for Toggle. Yep, there you go. See, so you let Toggle through first. Priorities. Now 
I don't. Okay, so can I can I pet him now that I don't have the? No, I can't. Okay. Did you hear that? Unfortunately, yes. Yeah. Hi, hello. Round away that hole. Good boy, good doggo. Good doggo. Well done. Yeah, where to, Torg? Up that way. Thank you. So I know which way to check last. I really love that mechanic of Torgle being able to just go like, now nah, here's where you go, mate. It's it's over this way. Peek through the door, go all Scooby Doo with it. This door only leads to more royalists. We'd better find another one. Take your pick. Not plenty of doors, so let's try this one. How about a window? And whoop! Yeah. Oop, we go. Bloody show off. Yeah. Oh, look, you got to do an info. Uh, if you're infiltrating a castle, you have to do it with style. The, the swashbucklery oh, way to go. Found the Imperial garrison. You should know that's it. Come on. Right where the royalists left. Yeah. All right. Hello, lads. Yes, he is here. Good job, you realised. Where's the mages? Still love just being able to summon Torgal to go and bite folks. Big fan of this mechanic. Twelve gil from that. Two pinches of ash. Scat round. Nothing else. Okay. I see treasure up there. Oop. Welcome back, Lord Commander. Oh, I'm not staying. Okay, you're fancy. Keep your distance, boys. Ow. Pop that up. Okay, you're another ninja. on is the, the fire one that I need to dodge to the side for. There we go. 
Directional dodges. Always the bane of my existence. Damn it. Yeah, I'm right in the face for that one too. Got it that time. Okay, right on, so that's the thunder. And you're going to follow up with Katon. Fan of these ninjas. It's always the, the zippy, flippy, quick enemies that give me the most problems. Never were one for half measures, were you, Benedicta? These poor sods didn't know what hit them. Treasure! Ooh, the favor of fire, Scarlet Cyclone. I assume that's an accessory that's going to boost that ability. Let's see. Increases Scarlet Cyclone damage by 8%. Useful, but I haven't been using that one as much as the other. Let's give it a shot. I mean, a, a powerful AoE is always a good thing to have. I'm not going to complain. All this bloody running. After them. Come on. Let them run away. This is well guarded. Attacking an opponent from the front while it's guarding will deal no damage. Circle to the rear to penetrate its defenses. You must penetrate them from behind. Certain basic abilities, such as Burning Blade and Charged Magic, as well as iconic abilities, such as the Phoenix's Rising Flames, can instantly break an opponent's guard, even when delivered from the front. Useful to have that in this fight, especially. More enemies, come on! How many of you are there, damn. Wear that. All right, let me grab. 
grab. Okay, oh nice, at the end it just pulls in all of the, the drops. Love that, that's good. Could, uh, could use some more potions, like that would be, would be ideal. There we go. Exactly. A potion. Thank you, game. I could use a few more, but, you know, I'll take one for now. This feels like a boss fight area. Yep, the music went all quiet. This is about to go very badly for me. What the hell happened here? They got stabbed, Sid. A lot. Hi, Benedicta. A little light for prayer, isn't it? Do I seem so desperate as to grovel at the feet of a false god? <laughs> I was waiting for you. Not for too long, I hope. All this for a midnight chat. Well, let's chat then. Where are the men and women you took from Lost Wing? You mean, where's the Dominant? Well, we shall be requiring his services indefinitely. Come back to me, Sidolphus. I need you. Think of all the things we can create together. The world that we can build. You need me. <laughs> Your king needs me. I'm all for building in the a back new there. world. Like, I want to buy there. Just not his. That bastard's dreams are as twisted as his promises are false. And I want no part of him. King Barn was on that. saved you, and this is how you speak of him. Have you no shred of loyalty? What? To a leader who'd use me? Like he uses you. You know nothing of me, Sidolphus. You're right. I don't know who you are anymore. Or what you want. I only know what you used to say. That you were tired of running. That you just wanted to be free. Free of it all. You weren't lying to me then, so what changed? What made you think you had to sacrifice who you were to get what you wanted? Sacrifice. I use my talents to my advantage and you would tell me there is shame in that? If there's no shame, then why do you feel so sorry for yourself? Jesus Christ, Lord Sid. Commander. I was a fool to believe you might have changed. Cut down to the core, why don't you? I feel sorry for is you. I can't do this anymore. If you would stand between our leash and his dream, then you leave me no choice. Goodbye, Sidolphus. Oh, boy. Stand back, Clive. Oh, shit. Very cool. Sid's going Super Saiyan. Oh, look at that claw. Last time Sid did that, he started getting the consumption going. Oh boy. Why? Finish them. Oh, now we gotta fight both. Oh, 
I don't believe Sid. Sid's dead yet. He's just not coming against one. He's quickly. That's okay. I've tanked you two a million times in FF14. I've got this. Not this time. A little help. Okay, I just realized how low my health is. Going into this, so let's take care of that. It's not dot into, into the AoE, that would be bad. Oh boy. Let's go, Torkoal. Uh-oh, perfect storm. Don't love that. Into it. My wounds, boy. Doing it again. Damn it. Torgo, buddy, I need your help. Hello, Raiders. Welcome in. I'm a little, little focused. Apologies, I'll be properly in a minute. into the AOE again almost. My wounds, boy. And we're gonna do this again. So let's watch for the There we go, got it that time. Oh, and second swing. Swing. There we go, you can do it again. Yes, you are. I can't do it. Damn it, missed it. Oh, we'll go back to try that again. Uh, hello, Chaotic Colson Presence. Welcome in, Kay. Hope everything's going well. Uh, but it's for me. I just got my ass kicked by a boss. Uh, <laughs> exactly. Warm up fight. Warm up fight. We'll get it. Restart with additional potions and high potions. I went in there already beat up with very little in the way of potions, so. Did very, very well. So, yes, welcome in. Um, for those who don't know me for the raid, hi, Chris Canius, aka the Painting Pirate. We are a few hours deep into Final Fantasy 16 at this point. Uh, so, if you want to avoid spoilers, totally understand if you need to take off. Otherwise, yeah, let me do a quick uh, shoot oot. There we go. Uh, thank you very much for popping everyone over. We're going to try this fight again. Let me just limber up. Dive back in. 
Here we go. All right. Okay, so you're coming at me with Perfect Storm again. Not this time. Not again. I think how many t I'm trying to figure out how many times they do this. Is it three? No, there's another one. Okay, so it's three. But there's still the exploding bit. Okay. Gave me all my potions back, so that's good. Storm again. Ah, damn it, screwed up the dodge timing. Not that time. Ah. That's okay. Could be worse. Could be worse. There we go, got the parry in that time. Come on, I've almost got you stunned. There we go, boom. Got one on down, okay. Inheritance, okay, yes, you've powered up. Oh, oh. oh, yep, and now it's gone across it. This is very FF14 uh, boss, and I love it. It's like, here's your phase two. It taught you the mechanics to start with, and now you've got to deal with them stacking and, and uh, going more. Love it. Nope. Don't love so much getting blasted like that. I think last time I accidentally switched which one I was fighting rather than focusing on one. So this is going a little better. I believe in you. Boom. Take that. Get them, Torgal. Damn it. Run back in the way. Come on, she's almost done. you lunge at me. There we go. Yes! You lose. Boom. Supana and Chirab slay. They definitely won't come back for the main fight against Benedicta. She is definitely not going to summon both of them again. Level up. Do I? Come on, for that you're not giving me the victory fanfare? Come on. To see the pattern on the surface of this spherical gem shift and twist, one would think a churning storm trapped within, though it must surely be a trick of the night. All right, now to go and uh, lift the statue off of Sid, who I'm sure is fine because we didn't see a body. I never believe they're dead unless you see the body. Yeah, do, 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 do. Go save him. Save him, Clive. Sid, are you all right? See, he's fine. 
Do I look all right? <coughs> His consumption's back. He's got the anime cough. Benedicta will be on her way to collect the dominant, if she hasn't already. You can't afford to let them leave. Remember, she has wings, you don't. What about you? Before or after I catch my breath. Sorry. Come on, Toggle. Don't be a hero, Sid. Shit. All right. Yeah, the uh, the the Sean Bean alarm is sounding at full volume for Sid right now. Don't like that at all. Our mentor figure, who sounds like Sean Bean, is almost dead. This is bad. This is bad. Let's see what's in this door. Treasure. Yes, treasure. All right. She must be here somewhere. She must be somewhere. That way, so let's check this room. Yes, give me all of the items. Hopefully, one of you is a high potion. That would be great. Yes, see, there you go. Thank you. Favor a fire heat wave. I've not now heat wave. I don't have sent, so I don't worry about that. I would love the rising wing one though. That one I use a lot. <laughs> 